guys, it's Megan or Mad Little Crafter here, and I've decided that I'm going to start filming little short, like, craft vlogs, kind of, because I always have stuff I want to talk about when I'm working on things, but then I never get to do it anytime, so, <laughs> and there's always stuff I want to share with you guys, so I'm just at my crafting desk right now. It's not really my crafting desk anymore, it's my desk in my room, but we are currently working on putting my turning the office that like nobody ever uses into a crafting studio for me since everything's taken off so much and that way yarn won't take over my room like I this is clean right now um this is a clean yarn pile you know um I had one that was like stacked from here all the way over there and very tall and I used to have a yarn basket in here but we've had to move all that into the loft I mean not the loft into the office into bookcases so that takes care of that um <laughs> tons of craft supplies it's a mess i got a monster hide all that i gotta open um it's the only i'm getting really selective with what i collect it's the uh is 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 see i see dawn dancer i don't know she's i love her though she's the dear one you can see the art on the back of the box she's just so pretty I say craft vlogs and then I'm like, look at the doll! But she's so gorgeous. I love her. But I have that and I have some like Copics and a bunch of yarn. I'm in love with this brand of yarn right now. It's that, um, it's new and it's only at Joann's I think, but it's the Big Twist yarns. And this is magenta. My favorite color is pastels, but I just wound that all up and it's somewhere. I think it's in a bag. But yeah, um, right now I'm currently working on two beanies for a commission, if my phone wants to focus. Um, I've got a Mickey Mouse beanie right here, I'm working on the ears, and I got, this is going to be a Baymax beanie for, they're both from my friend Josiah, which he recently started a YouTube channel, and I'm actually going to link that down below for you guys so you can check out his YouTube channel. Um, I got these markers. Um, from the Tokyo store and my friend Adri said she tried them and she really liked them and they actually had some of them back in stock um, when I showed up with money because <laughs> I got paid so I got some of them for myself because she said they're gonna be discontinuing them so I only have some of them I got like the um, primary color pack and then I got a pastel blue uh, pastel purple and a pastel pink and then I guess I can give you guys like a quick overview of some of my craft supplies slash craft tips. Um, if you guys watched my latest video, um, which was the uh, Watch Me Crochet, the first episode, you saw me do Blue Pearl and I did her hair. And this is all the leftover fluff from her hair um, from both brushing it out with one of these um, bristled brushes and from trimming it. And my hugest tip I can ever give anybody is save this save this if you do that hair technique or um save any of your scrap yarn because that can become stuffing for projects like experimental things that you don't want to use your good stuffing for save all that because you can stuff anything with that and it works and it's great i have ziploc baggies of scrap yarn everywhere that i can just take to school and stuff stuff with that and stuff like that um i have a head the amigurumi chibi head sitting here for my next project. I still have the tool sitting here, which is just the tool rolls that I got from Hobby Lobby, and I used it for her tool skirt, which she's up up here right now with my BB-8 and everything. You can see her right there. But yeah, there's my Baymax and everything. But yeah, currently I'm working on these beanies. And then I'm going to work on some stuff for a trade, and yeah, I'll see you guys in another clip. <laughs> so I'm realizing that these crafting vlogs, of, or these clips, are like becoming a night thing because it is 10.32 at night, and I decided to film again <laughs> and um, right now I'm actually working on a massive did you see how massive this is? this is gonna be huge and this is just the bottom part it's a BB-8 commission for a friend of mine and he's gonna be 
huge. I am very excited about this, very very excited, and to be honest I might end up having to make one for myself after this, depending on how it turns out, because I love me some BB-8. <laughs> so I'm just working on this commission right now, I got both the beanies finished, and I filmed a clip of that already, so you'll have seen this before this, seen that before this, but yeah. Got both the beanies finished, so I'm doing this now, and then I have some trade stuff to work on. I now have a head for Amethyst over here that I ended up filming, uh, not filming, making. It's late at night, I'm messing up my words now. That I ended up making last night, I also have my snack for in a while. I'm addicted to these, okay? The little cuties, or halos, whatever, I'm addicted to them right now, and I don't know why. I just am. I've eaten, I'm averaging about two or three a day now. It's insane. So I'm doing all that, working on this. I want to get the body at least halfway done before I go to bed. And I'm jotting it down, of course, so I remember how to make it later. And I'm watching some Graveyard Girl. So that's pretty much what I'm doing right now, crafting wise. Yeah, so I'll see you guys in another clip. Hey guys, so I forgot what was in the last clip, but I've been filming in a while and I actually finished the giant BB-8 and <laughs> not like finish finish, but I got the body done. He's huge. <laughs> He's easily the biggest Amigurumi I have ever made. I just need to put the little circle uh, thingy thingies, whatever, <laughs> and the eyes. So that one's gonna be fun and I finished this body and head, which is what I really wanted to get done today, and I also, ignore my mess, I have this little Totoro started, I got a commission for him, so he started, and then I have a bunch of stuff over here, but I mainly have these little cuttlefish with wings that I'm going to be releasing for Valentine's Day, so yeah, that's what I have for this craft vlog clip, and I also have this Marceline over here, which I'm still working on her hair. Um, she's gonna look really cool. I need to flat iron all of this and add more hair to the front, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you in probably one more clip. Hey guys, I'm actually going to finish up my craft vlog right now with another ending segment, I guess. Um, I'm actually sitting on the floor in my bathroom because this thing is huge. It's huge. I mean, my bathroom is connected to my bedroom, so it's not that far away from my desk, but anyways. <laughs> This is the biggest Amigurumi I have ever made to date, and I'm so happy I wrote down the pattern because, to be quite honest, I might have to make one for myself because this is like, honestly, I don't want to sound like I'm bragging, but this is like the coolest thing I've ever made. I feel like so proud of it, and he's just huge and perfect little BB-8. I'm so happy with how this turned out. He turned out amazing. So yeah, thanks for watching my little craft vlog guy. Um, you can go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'm looking forward to having some tutorials in the future, fingers crossed, and some more watch me crochet videos. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!